Well, I'm Chris, and this is my shortening a synthetic winch cable and installing a snatch block video. So that's the winch and everything I restored a while back, looking pretty good still. And I replaced the cable on it with a synthetic rope, and I was looking for a rope with a fair lead kit, and that was on sale for $92. It's 100 feet, it was way too long, so if the rope or cable is too big, it'll start hitting the control box, and that synthetic rope will snag and start tearing itself up. So I had to cut it. So I had to figure out how to do that Morbius Bromo splice. That's what we're going to do on this. We're going to do it with a thimble and ultimately attach the snatch block to it. So just be careful if you're looking at four wheel drive channels because a lot of them guys, they don't know what they're doing. You have to go to a real rigging channel or website. I learned how to do this from watching Rigging Doctor. He has a YouTube channel. Check it out and you'll start seeing a bunch of different videos. I'll link the two videos that helped me learn how to do this the most. So this isn't going to be a how-to video. I've been practicing about two or three times, but this is my first official job. So let's just get an idea how it's done. So I pulled out a bunch of cable to work with. You're going to have to convert it to metric. This is half inch. There's formulas out there. Go on the internet. Watch those two videos I'm going to link to. You have to kind of get your numbers straight. We're going to need a berry length at 36 inches. And we're also going around this thimble, so we're going to have to add 8 inches. The first thing you do, get your synthetic rope, and if you have a sheathing, go ahead and get the sheathing on there first. So we have the sheathing installed. Alright, so just put some tape on here so it doesn't unravel itself. We're going to go ahead and put our thimble in. Alright, so thimble's in. We stretched it to our mark. So when you work with this stuff, you use FIDS, F-I-D-S. I'll put a link to a kit from eBay, but we're only doing one, so we're gonna get away with some screwdrivers. We're gonna use the pins for a fid and a coat hanger to push it through. This is the tail end that we have to bury. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up over here. We'll just put you some kind of little mark right there. And then with our fid or screwdriver, we're gonna to try to go straight through this rope and make a hole in it and wallow it out. First thing you do is kind of bunch it up like that. And you're looking for a passage straight through it. Okay, so once you work the screwdriver in there, you can see that there's a passage straight through the middle of it. We just want to wallow this hole out a little bit more. Push it together, stretch the hole out. Once you get the hole kind of big, take your tail in and go through there. Okay. Alright, so you see how that's going straight through there? Just work it, try to take as much slack out as you can. So we have the tail end right here. We're gonna go down two strands and we're gonna put another hole right in the center. So I mean, just kind of study it. You got one, two, about right here. All right, so you got that hole in there. We're gonna get the tail and we're gonna go through it. See what's going on right here. Alright, so do you see what just happened right there? We created that Morbius Brummel lock right there. Now this cannot come undone. That's exactly how you want to do this. So we have one in there. That's really all you need. But let's say you just want to do it again. Why not? Let's do another one. So same thing. Go down two strands. Put a hole in there. Alright, so we got the hole in there. All right, so check that out. Now we have one, two. So this thing is locked about as good as it's gonna get. Now we can go to burying the tail. What we're gonna do is the same thing. We're gonna open it up two strands down. This time, we're not going straight through it like that. We're going straight through it like this. And we're gonna squish it like that, bunch it up. And we're gonna find the center all the way down through here, all the way to our tape. Okay, so the way we do that is we get a coat hanger, put some kind of bend on it, take one of these regular big pins, put this on it, make like a little point. I thought I had electrical tape out here, but I don't. Probably better to use electrical, but we'll make this work. Okay, so you got to tape this stuff real good so it does not slip out. Because if it slips out, it's just going to hang in there. You got to get it out and start over. So tape it really good. Electrical works so much better. So we got the tail coming out right here. Just remember right under the tail. Two strands up, try to get in that middle. Remember to bunch it up, and it'll just find its way right through that center. Okay, what I found to work is to spin it, and if it stops, just pull it back a little bit, find out what the heck is going on. So we put the tape mark there, because that's gonna let you know when you can come out of the center. Just like that.
Just came out of the center right there. Coat hangers all the way through. You can use another tip or just take that one you just used. So stick the tip in there that way and bend it so it can't pull out. So we're just gonna tape it up like that. I hope this works. Okay. Okay, we're gonna pull that coat hanger and fish that piece all the way out the end. Okay, so just go ahead and pull it all the way through. Go ahead and try to clean this up right here. Pull it through all the way, but keep this part bunched up right here, like that. Bunch it up as much as you can. We got our tail hanging right here. Let's just pull all this stuff off the tail end. So we can actually put the pin back together. No pins were harmed in this video. So if you haven't figured it out yet, this slip joint like this works on the principles of the Chinese finger trap. So the friction is actually gonna keep it together while you pull it and these knots right here are going to make it where it's impossible to slip out but to get that ultimate friction hole we have to taper this in so we have a smooth transition if you don't you're just going to have fat and then skinny so we're going to taper this okay so you see how we scrunch this up and expose the tail so we need to go every four strands and cut one out now i think this is 12 strands i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll count them as we go but we just Count four, cut one, up four, up four, up four, and just cut one. Uh, let's just do 12. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Okay, so in those other videos, there's like methods to figure it out. I don't know those methods. We're just going to go up four and cut one and figure it out. So I'm going to put the pieces right here and just count 12. One, two, three, four. So as you work your way up, you're just watching and making sure you're not pulling any of those out. So starting about right here, you notice how it just tapers to a single strand. Once you get that taper in there, just pull this over it and it's going to disappear. taper came out real nice but that happened I needed to go a little bit further out but first time doing it I'm just gonna leave that alone it shouldn't be a problem the one that came factory on here I swear it was like right here like it was tapered and that's it so we got about double that so I should be fine just taping it up like that I'm really happy I have this little sheath on there if I didn't I'd be redoing this right now Okay, so one last look at our beautiful double Morbius Brummel. You see those videos where we put that little fishing line through there? That is absolutely not what you want to do. This is what you want to do. All right, so the sheath doesn't want to cover that, which is fine. So my little brother gave me this for my Jeep. Now he has a YouTube channel, David Craft, just like me, but David Craft, he does samurai videos. Now he has a YouTube channel. He's just starting off realizing it's a little more difficult than he thought. Go over to his channel if you can, subscribe, help him out, whatever. He knows way more about four-wheel drive than I ever will, and he's just starting his channel. Hopefully it'll grow, but he needs a little bit of help. Go over there, help him out if you can. But he gave me this, so I really appreciate that. So this is a snatch block. It just sucks up to your fair lead and gives it a real clean look. It's got this clip we got to get out first. Okay. All right, so just... In there like that. So I had to get the winch controller out. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh God. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I wanted. I didn't even know these things existed. It does have some kind of sticker residue. Hopefully that'll just come right off. So that thing came out really cool. If you didn't know what a snatch block is, now you do. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.